This Blender animation was created entirely using AI, and I didn't even have to learn anything about Blender animation beforehand. In this video, I'll introduce you to a mind-blowing AI tool that can convert any video into a 3D animation with ease. But that's not all. I'll also show you a simple method to create your own 3D character using just a single AI-generated image. By combining these techniques, you'll be able to animate anything effortlessly. Let's dive into the video. The site I'm about to show you is called Quick Magic AI, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can claim free credits when signed in. Once you log in, you'll be taken to this page. Here, you can either select an example video or upload your own. I recommend using your own video to save credits, but for this demonstration, I'll be using an example video. After uploading, you'll notice a box around the characters in your video, which indicates that the AI has successfully identified the character. From the right side menu, you can choose a replacement character for the motion capture. This depends on the software we are about to use. I will tell you which model you should choose, but for now, I'll go with this one. Now click Next to proceed. Here you can name your project and choose between full body motion or upper body motion. You can also enable hand and face gestures. Once everything is set up, simply click Generate Now and AI will do the rest. Once the process is complete, head over to your projects and open your newly generated animation. You'll see that Quick Magic AI has successfully transferred the motion from your video onto the 3D character you selected. You can even zoom in to notice the finer details. It not only captures the body movement, but also accurately replicates hand gestures and facial expressions, bringing the character to life. Now, let me show you how to create something like this from scratch. And trust me, you don't even have to learn 3D animations to do this. First, you'll need to select a video with a motion. If you're unsure about what type of video works best, click the Tips button for guidance. I have this video with a girl dancing, so I'll upload it to Quick Magic AI. Next, from the character selection, choose the Mixamo character. This is important because of the next tool we'll be using. Click Next, then select Full Body Motion with Hand Gestures and Facial Expressions for a more detailed animation. For the starting pose, choose T-Pose. This is just to make things easier in future steps. Finally, click Generate Now and Quick Magic AI will process the animation. Once your animation is complete, head over to your library to watch it in action. If you're happy with the results, go ahead and download the animation file. This will be in .fbx format. Now that we have our animation, it's time to find a character to apply it to. Visit the Mixamo website and sign up if you haven't already. Mixamo offers a wide variety of free 3D characters and animations, making it a great resource for this project. Browse through the available characters and select one that best fits your vision. When downloading, make sure to choose the .fbx format and ensure that your character is in the T pose. This is crucial for properly applying the animation later on. Next, you'll need to download Blender, a free and powerful 3D animation software that runs on most computers without demanding high system requirements. I'll leave a link to the official site in the description. Once you've installed Blender, open it and create a new general project. By default, you'll see a cube in the center of the scene. Select it and delete it to clear the workspace. If the user interface looks overwhelming, don't worry. I'll guide you through each step and trust me, you don't even have to have any prior knowledge related to this. From the top menu tabs, click on File, then go to Import and select FBX, since our animation and character files are in .fbx format. In the Import window, navigate to the .fbx file you downloaded from QuickMagic AI and select it. Before importing, look for the Armature section in the right side panel and expand it. Here, make sure to enable the Automatic Bone Orientation option, this helps ensure that the animation aligns properly with the character's skeleton. Once that's done, go ahead and import the file into Blender. To check if the animation is working, simply press the spacebar.
I'll move the animation slightly to the side to make space for the character we imported from the Mixamo website. Follow the same steps to import the character. To make things easier, I'll make the skeletons of both models visible. To do this, select any character from the top left menu, then go to Object Data Properties, the green icon with a skeleton. From there, select Viewport Display and turn on the In Front option. This ensures the skeletons are visible even when the model is in front of them. I'll apply this to both characters to make it easier to work with their armatures. Now, select the armature of your character. While holding down the Shift key on your keyboard, select the armature of the character you downloaded from QuickMagic AI. Once both armatures are selected, press both Ctrl and L keys on your keyboard at the same time. This will open a menu, choose the Link Animation Data option. This action will transfer the AI-generated animation to your character, applying the motion from QuickMagic AI to the new model. Now that the animation is transferred, you can delete the unwanted character to clean up the scene. You may have noticed that your character is missing its textures. To fix this, select the icon at the top of the screen to enable the textures. And just like that, you've successfully created a 3D animation using Blender, without having to dive deep into its complexities. It's all been made simple and straightforward, thanks to the AI tools we have used. As a bonus, I'll show you how to create your very own 3D model using AI. For this, you'll need an image. You can use any AI image generator to create this. Make sure the character is the main focus of the image and that the background is empty or transparent. This will allow the AI to focus solely on the character and make it easier to convert into a 3D model later on. Now, head over to the website called Tripo where you'll receive enough free monthly credits to generate your 3D model. Once you're on the site, click on the image icon and upload your image. You'll also see options to adjust styles and settings, but for now, I'll leave them as they are and simply generate the model. After a few minutes, your 3D model will be ready for viewing. Keep in mind that the textures might look a little bit messed up. This is one of the limitations of using AI at least for now. You can click on the HD Texture button to improve the textures, but it won't completely fix the issue. Once you're satisfied with the model, download it in .fbx format and head back to the Mixamo website. Now, click on Upload Character in Mixamo and select the AI-generated character file. For some reason, Mixamo isn't allowing me to import the FBX file directly. To work around this, I downloaded the OBJ file and uploaded it instead. The reason I originally recommended using .fbx format is that .obj files do not retain textures, meaning you might have to manually add them later in Blender. Despite this limitation, I'll continue with the process and show you how to work with the model inside Mixamo. After uploading the character, you'll need to place the markers to rig it properly. Use the reference image on the right side of the screen to guide you in positioning the markers correctly. If your model isn't symmetrical, be sure to disable the symmetry option before placing the markers manually. Once all markers are placed, click Next, and Mixamo will process the rigging. After a short wait, your character will appear fully rigged and ready for animation. You'll also see it performing some test animations. As you can see, my character now has perfectly working animation, fully rigged and ready to be used. Now you can go to Add Animation and look for the T-Pose. Select the T-Pose animation and you can download this model as .fbx file. This way you can use your own model in Blender. I know this whole process might seem a bit lengthy and unfamiliar at first, but once you get the hang of it, it will feel much easier and more intuitive. If you run into any issues along the way, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Should I make more videos like this? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.